We're live. Yep, we're live. All right. So, um, Mike, let's let's talk about the art of maximizing value. And that's a broad topic, yeah. Scott. That's that's you know, maximizing value of what we do as an agent, bringing forth to the marketplace. Also, from the vantage point of a seller, maximizing his home's value mm-hmm. to you know the perceived value of investment as a buyer there's a lot of things you could we could true, go with that true and that's that's it's you're right it's a pretty broad topic and i think it's probably something that um will get will bring value to the listeners right <laughs> yeah absolutely the audience is looking for value that's why uh, we're right. here all right so actually you, the, the the aspect of bringing value for whom you hire to help you buy and sell real estate. Let's talk wow. about that first. Absolutely, on how you select the agent that you best connect with, you feel like is, in the end of the day, you're hiring anybody for buying a product or a service. You're looking for someone that's got, that is demonstrating to you um, an element of that you're trustworthy, that is, you know, is there for you in, in terms of representing. If you're looking for a fiduciary, and we're talking about real, as it relates to real estate, someone that's gonna be bringing value to the table. Mm-hmm. Whether that be way, way of communication, whether that be through marketing or negotiating strategy, um, but how you pick your agents, intricately important as part of that process. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in fact, I'm sure you would echo this, but you know, when we go back and we ask our clients when they do reach out, how they find out about us, most of our business comes by repeat and referral. And let's face it, other people are better at telling other people about the experience working with us than we are. And I think it, it, it once again, it, there's, it's more valuable. The information is more valuable. Oh, hands down. Yeah. Yeah. Cause it's, it's like endorsing yourself. It, it, we don't, we're not accustomed to that. We're not braggarts, you know, in mm-hmm. that way it's not, yep. but when someone else is endorsing it by, by way of, they did a phenomenal job. You really should be talking to yeah. Scott because Scott's phenomenal yeah. at doing X, Y, Z. Right, um, right. It, but that's because you've built up like value and the brand around uh, the services you provide. The experience. The experience. Yeah, it's all yeah. about the experience. Of course, absolutely. And, and really, that's that's the major sustaining factor for anyone that's successful in the business that of real estate. That's the only way to really have longevity in this business yeah. is to to really take care of people so those people go out and recommend you to other brands, friends, family members, coworkers, what have you. Absolutely. And after all these years, I still get so excited when someone says, I was referred from so-and-so down the street. Mm-hmm. You did such a phenomenal job for them selling their home and helping them buy another one. You know, I, I'd like to enlist you for your services as well. That's right. Yeah. And there's no better compliment that we could receive than to receive a referral, right? Hands down. Yeah. Absolutely. And 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 for for folks that recognize that, the the value of that recommendation, we understand that there's more at stake than just the transaction, right? Because we don't we not only do we want to make the 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 buyer or the seller that we're working with happy, we we want to do such a bang up job that they report back to the referring party to say, Mike knocked it out of the ballpark. He negotiated our contract wow. flawlessly. He got us to across the finish line and we feel, you know, really th- fortunate to have connected with Mike. That's what we want our clients <clears throat> to report back to the, to the uh, originating client. Wow. And, and you nailed it. And by working that as a business strategy, meaning that we're not just in it for the one and done, mm-hmm. we're in it for the long term you know, yeah. time period. Yeah that approaches everything differently yeah. because it's not just a marketing successful transaction. It's a relationship building yeah. ongoing experience yeah. where when you connect with Scott, they know you for being a phenomenal agent, but what the difference between a loyal customer to a raving fan is the approach in business by working by way of referral. Yep. Absolutely. And, and some folks might, You know, inside real estate and outside of real estate, they might say, well, how do you do that? Well, it really it really has to start with results. Mm. Right. You know, (laughs) right. Yeah. I mean, you you boil it down. It has to be you have to get results and you have to to be very intentional with how you get those results. Yeah. And 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 I will be the first one to tell you, you know, we're, we're human, so we're not perfect, but we get better every year with every transaction. We get better. 
and I know, you know, you've been in business a long time. I've been in business a long time. Our, that's, we're able to focus time, energy, our resources on the service. But what we, what we, I'll tell you what we don't do. We don't do billboard advertising <laughs> no. because that's not – we don't have to serve anyone well to do a billboard, right? That's exactly right. Word of mouth, well, for one, doesn't cost anything. So that means we're not charging – absorbent fees that get passed on to mm-hmm. the consumer uh, because there's no other way to have an overhead that way yeah. of, a, of an yeah. expenditure. Now we have plenty of overhead, but sure. it, it more than anything relates to around the processes and systems in the back office, if you will, sure. with admin staff Absolutely. and the marketing that goes into it, vi- albeit, you know, video, professional photography, professional measurements, um, certainly advertising in the right publications, business journal, um, South Park Magazine, what have you. Absolutely. Yeah, but but not billboards as in we're not trying to attract st- complete cold strangers in general. We want to come by our way of reputation. Mm-hmm. And then generally speaking, we're not saying no to people that don't know us. In fact, we want to befriend people that we generally don't know, but we want to come through a source of 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 trust certainly and we have to demonstrate that much harder with someone that comes completely cold versus someone that comes in by way of referral in general so if our business model is set up for that via scott you're phenomenal at client parties and events and just showing pre- appreciation sh- showing appreciation yeah. if we if we didn't care about the people post transaction we wouldn't do things like that yeah we wouldn't yeah. stop by to say hello during yeah. the holidays and, and reach out because we care absolutely we're, we're not about the churn and burn um, there are plenty of those that are in our field of, of business, but you know we're all about re- client retention, taking care of our, our our clients, so then we earn the right to help them in the future and anyone they might recommend. 